Hi, everyone. Mike from RLM here, joined by uh, a couple faces you may not recognize. However, voices you will recognize. Uh, Ryan Gill and George Smith here with me today. Uh, as you guys can imagine, the past 80 hours or so uh, has been just absolutely insane. Uh, not just for us, but the ACC community as a whole. Um, as everybody probably knows at this point, and if you don't, uh, Red Lane Motorsports was dissolved uh, by a decision made by its founder, Simon, uh, Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, depending on which time zone you're in. Uh, and all the races and events and leagues that came with that were dissolved with it. And you know, this was as much as a shock for us as staff as it was for the community. Um, and you know, Ryan, I think you can kind of attest to that as, as it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> uh yeah it, it really has um i think one of the one of the most important things though is that through all the shock of it disappearing overnight um realizing at one in the morning that everything is gone um we were i think incredibly grateful that all the staff behind the community that made it what it was um wanted to stick together we wanted to continue um and one of the things is we have to say a massive thank you to all the communities that reached out to us, all the people, uh, former RLM members that reached out to us as individuals, as part of an organization. You know, the support has been incredible. Um, it's something we didn't expect. And uh, we, we just have to say, you know, a massive thank you. And we're committed to, to to carrying it on. We've had some some very positive talks. Um, we had some very positive feedback from a lot of people, and uh, we're we're happy to say that we are gonna we are gonna continue on, and uh, we we aim to make it even better than 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 what RLM was before. So um, just briefly, uh, everyone who is involved with uh, formerly with RLM and is now involved with what we're doing going forward. Uh, They've got a little bit of a message for you, so uh, I'll just let you hear that from them. Hey guys, Tom from RLM. Thanks for your help, thanks for your support. Thanks for everything, hope to see you out on track. Hi, it's Thomas from RLM, thanks for your support. Hey guys, Jesse Lee here, formerly of RLM, and I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you guys in the sim racing community that has shown your support to us this past week. We greatly appreciate it, and I personally appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys, this is Steven from RLM, and I just want to say thank you for all your support. Hey guys, Lane here from RLM. I want to say a big thank you for all the support that you've been giving for the past couple of days of what's happening. I really appreciate that. Hey guys, Fabian from Redline Motorsport here. The support you guys have given us in the last few days and the various messages, very positive messages actually, uh, that we received from sim racing communities and individual drivers alike mean a lot to us. So thank you very much. Hey guys, Josh from RLM here. And I uh, just want to say thanks for all your support as always. Hi guys, this is Olivier from RLM. We want to thank you for your support and see you later. Hey everyone, this is Nick from RLM. Just saying thank you for your ongoing support. So yeah, thank you for that, guys. Obviously, you know the staff is uh, just as appreciative as, as as Ryan just said, right? I mean, we're all, we're all so appreciative of of everybody uh, that has supported us. And an important thing that before before we even step forward as to what we're doing um, in the future, a really really important thing that we want to make sure is that people understand. Anything that happened with RLM for us is in the past. We're, we're not making any statements on that. We're not going to answer any questions on it. Um, Simon made a statement on it. And in the end, uh, that was his decision. And realistically, RLM was his business. And so, you know, we're, uh, we're moving forward from that um, and not looking back at it. You know, we, at this point, um, I, I think effectively we are no longer even RLM staff uh, or, or RLM. We're, we're not going to refer to ourselves as that at all. We are now... Uh, our new uh, our new brand basically and that we hope that everybody can join us there um and i think george wants to talk a little bit about what that uh, what that may look like yeah i guess to just summarize things and to just try and shorten what will be quite a long video but we'll shorten it as much as we can uh, there's obviously a lot to touch on and we just need to sort of touch base with you guys and just let you know that the last couple of days have been insane for all of us. No one has had much sleep. Uh, we look a little bit sleep deprived in the video as well. So if uh, that's the case, we apologize for that. But at the same time, we don't apologize because we've been working hard. There have been so many options from everybody and we really do appreciate everybody reaching out. 
Some of the options we were presented with meant that we would have to split up and others involved complete integrations with another team. Uh, in short, what we really want to do here is just continue to provide you guys with great racing, great commentary, great production, and obviously well-organized and hosted leagues. Uh, and that means that what we want to do means that we will still be here as us, the staff that were there in the past, like you mentioned, Mike, uh, whatever was in the past is in the past, statements have been made. Uh, and I would like to just let people know that at the end of the day, um, we, we didn't want to split up. We didn't want to move away from the team that we had built up. And uh, at the end of the day, we were left feeling a little bit alone and looking to still reintegrate with others. Yeah, we, um, we, we ideally wanted to take the best parts of what we had what made RLM work uh, from our experience and, and, and we wanted to, to improve on it. Um, at minimum, the new venture that, that we are undertaking together uh, as, as a group, uh, we want it to at least meet you know, the minimum standard that, that RLM had. Uh, I think that's something that's very important for us is that it's, it's what made RLM what it was. And um, and we feel that it's best for the community that you know we can recreate something similar, but not just similar as in you think of it as that. We want to make it better, uh, and and not just better for for ourselves, but for the community uh, as a whole. And uh, to that extent, you know, Mike, uh, uh, you know, I think it's time people hear the answer. Yeah. So. I like like we've said in the past few minutes here, I mean, it's we've had talks with with many people. You know, obviously a lot of people reached out to us, and um, basically our decision, um, we're actually going to be partnering with uh, a name that you guys probably recognize, and we're very very happy to have this talks with them, and very proud to be um, and uh, kind of like and an, uh, powered by this brand at this point, uh, and that's Race Department. Um, that's a name that pretty much anybody in the sim community at least recognizes the name of you know it's it's very it's very few people probably that are like very actively involved in sim racing that don't know race department and um the new community uh at this point is uh underneath race department it's going to be called racing club international that will be our new name rci so we'll be uh, you know rci mike rci ryan rci george and whatever else george does in in south africa <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> go ahead, George. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it, it is going to take some time for us to rebuild up to the levels that we uh, had going at RLM. And from this point on, I mean, we are basing our standards on setting the best and trying to benchmark up there. And, and what went on and what was built at RLM was incredible. And uh, all props to what was built there. We, as a team, formed up through there. We would never have got the opportunity to meet up through there. And through community, everything is built. So we're hoping that sincerely you guys will come over and join us on the RCI side of things and continue to do what we love to do, which is produce and uh, create awesome race events for you guys to participate in and, and us to broadcast to the world. Yeah, absolutely, George. And you know, at, at at this point, this is this is live, guys. Uh, you know, as of this video, we are we are live. Um, you'll have a Discord link. Uh, that there's obviously we're gonna post this to various platforms, so there there will be a Discord link somewhere in whatever post format this this platform is in. Uh, if you're on our website or Reddit or YouTube or whatever in the description, you know, it'll it'll be there. Uh, we'll be on Twitter. Um, you know, we, uh, of course, I mean, as, as you would expect, uh, there will be uh, all sorts of social media that we'll post and hopefully we'll, you know, see everybody here and uh, get back to racing. So, you know, new name, same racing, Racing Club International, guys. You know, we'll, uh, we'll see you back on track. <laughs>